special uh, late edition of Liquid Lunch today. And look who's joining us here in the studio as co-host today. Woo! It's, <laughs> it's Ma. It's me. She's here, and I have to say thank you to uh, Dr. Naram and his crew for uh, making all this happen today. Hmm. You guys coming down here. I know you had difficulty. Yeah. We had difficulty setting a schedule with yeah. me. And then Maha's phone got recovered from the canoe accident. And, it was a big um, accident. and uh, you managed to get her down here today. So this is yeah. uh, very much, this is fantastic. So thank you guys. Thank you. And, thank, you. Um, thank you, Maha, for coming. Thank you, yes, thank you, you for inviting us. <laughs> yeah. And Always today will be wonderful. It. So just to, mm. we'll just make sure everybody sure. knows who we've got. It's Dr. Naram, of course. Uh, and uh, Dr. Marianne G and uh, Dr. Giovanni is here, and uh, we are um, we're going to talk about. Well, you guys travel the world. You're like I was saying earlier, like a rock, hmm. like a rock band traveling the world, <laughs> healing people using yeah. Ayurvedic herbal band, herbal <laughs> herbal yeah, band. Healing, band. healing band, <laughs> healing band. <laughs> yeah, uh, we we go to around uh, fifteen countries, sixty cities two times a year. Yeah. Wow. And once a year, I see around about more than 100,000 people. Wow. Yeah. When I'm in India, believe it or not, about 400 to 600 people come per day suffering from chronic arthritis, osteoporosis, diabetes, blood pressure, different kinds of cancer, infertility, obesity, psychological challenges. And I help them with the lost ancient healing technology. Yeah. And, and do you want to just tell us how, how you were able to recover this lo lost ancient healing technology? Very good. Believe it or not, this journey goes back to 36 years ago. 36 years ago, I was a doctor from nowhere. Nothing was working. And I was working as a maybe theory. You know maybe theory? Maybe theory means that suppose a person comes <laughs> and he says, I've got a stomachache. So then maybe gas, maybe acidity, maybe tumor, maybe overeating, or maybe he has a problem with his partner. It's the maybe theory. Maybe theory. That is known as maybe theory. And I used to give a broad spectrum herbal stuff on that maybe theory, something for gas, something for acidity, but it was not working. Till I met my master, my master was at that time 115 years young. That kind of spirit he had. Yeah. Wow. And yeah, one, one, five. When anybody asked my master, how old are you? He would say, I am 115 years young and many years to go. And at that time, he used to see around 80 patients. So I learned this secret art and science of pulse reading. Mm. There is a very secret art and science of murmur, which I would be sharing with you. Murmur is a very shuttle energy points, which works on your body, mind, emotions, which helps you to reprogram your life. Because we believe that you, me, and everybody are programmed. Mm -hmm. When we are child, we are programmed by our parents. Then we become little bigger. Our teachers are programming us. When we become more, now internet is programming. Mm -hmm. Now internet says how to think, how to feel. You know, we are losing our connection with our own self. So murmur technology helps you to be in touch with your own self. What do you want is a very important question. Where do you want to go? And then how to go further faster and surer and whatever are the obstacles it can be physical obstacles like diabetes blood pressure arthritis osteoporosis then how to manage that yeah. with changing your diet changing your lifestyle some simple home remedies some simple herbal remedies and uh, marma i have yeah. a question sure don't your I've thoughts answered. affect uh, you more than what you take in? Don't your thoughts and your words affect you more than what you take in? Uh, Very good question. Believe it or not, our ancient technology says 80-85% of 
problems which person gets on physical level, mental level, emotional level is how you think, how you see the world. You can see a glass half full or you can see glass half empty. So now, how do you address that? How do I address that? I give you my example, personal example. My mother, she was not able to walk. She was 60 years old, toilet, bathroom in the bed. And all the doctors said, you can't walk. Now finish, your life is finished. So she took this programming from all the best doctors in India and everywhere. My father was also a naturopath doctor. Oh, wow. And all decided to go for knee replacement, <laughs> hip replacement. And all the doctors said, we don't give you any guarantee. She may walk, she may not walk, she may have major problems, we don't know. So they were not fixing the problem, they were temporarily doing something. So I was at that time, 36 years ago, I was learning the secret art and science of Marma, how to reprogram yourself. So I went to my mother and followed the direction of my master. I took a right hand and this is the murmur to be pressed. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I asked my mother, Mommy, what do you want? She closed her eyes and she says, I want to walk. As soon as she said, I would like to walk. Now this is what she wanted. This is not about hypnotism. This is about how to discover what a person wants badly. And then I did this marma. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now second question, which is very important, which anybody who is watching the program, they can ask themselves. Second question is this. If you, mummy, if you have power to walk, if you get strength to walk, and if this shakti comes, what would you do? Or what would you be? And I started this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And my mother lo looked into her, her, herself. When you press this marma, you go deep. Mm -hmm. And the answer came. Pankaj, I want to go to Himalaya. Now, believe it or not, she can't walk and she wanted to go to Himalaya. And immediately I did. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six. So this was reprogramming her life for future. Because whatever we are today is being programmed from past. Mm -hmm. Now, we have a choice to reprogram. Mm -hmm. But then we should know what do we want. 95% people on this planet, they do not know what they want. Now I tell you the reality. So one reality, my mother cannot walk. Second, I helped her to reprogram program her conscious mind, subconscious mind and then the super conscious mind gave her some possibility. She lived up to 90 plus. At the age of 82, she went to Himalaya walking. Awesome. So this is the power of Marma. I have another sure. question. So I heard that when like this area here mm -hmm. is attached to the heart. Sure. So what I mean, when you're going like this, right? Where is that connected to? Very good. So this is <clears throat> number one, asking consciously and asking a question, what do you want? So it goes to the mind and goes inside. But this is deeper. Mm -hmm. So then the deeper question goes towards soul. What is her burning desire? Mm -hmm. What is really she wants? So, marma technology does not work on something which is known as acupressure. Mm -hmm. It works on physical level, mental level, emotional level and we believe that we have lots of powers of mind. Mm -hmm. So, normal person, how much does a person use this power of mind? I am asking you. Uh, most would be about 10 percent, but I think 10 most percent. is about Good. 5. Yeah. The reality says, or our scripture says, which I am going to sh share with you some pictures of the scriptures. Normal person uses only 1% power of mind. A person who used 5% becomes genius, like Einstein. Wow. 
and person who used 10% became Buddha. Mm. So we have big potential power in our own self. The en entire ancient healing methods, which I am now bringing in all over the world, which are 2500 years old, secrets. I had a master who lived up to 125, also had a master who lived up to 125 also had a master, 145, also had a master, also had a master. The wow. ultimate master was Lord Buddha's personal physician. His name was Jivaka. So this technology is coming from last 2500 years. How you can, how you can have a choice of reprogramming yourself and becoming free from physical challenge like arthritis, osteoporosis, diabetes, blood pressure, where the 80% cause is mental and emotional. I have another question. Very good. What's the difference between what you're doing in neuro-linguistic programs? I have no idea about neurology. Oh, neuro no? But it does neuro remind me, though, of... Um, yeah. Maybe... Uh, uh, you know, the... the hmm. mu what do you call them? Mudras? Or mudras, yeah, mu mudra. Yeah. All Not marmas mudra. are mudras. Marmas. Yeah. See, okay. So, but it reminds me of something called yeah. emotional freedom techniques. I don't know if you know about technique. that, but it's something that's kind of new in, I don't know who developed it. I new think age. In the U.S. they developed yeah, it. Yeah. Where you, or they call it tapping, and you just sort of yeah, tap tapping. parts of your body, yeah, tapping, tapping. and I don't know. it. Uh, I had a very big master of the taping coming to see me in Germany. Mm -hmm. Of His tapping? His name was Albert, Albert, Dr. Albert, okay. who did Ph.D. on tapping. And when he got extreme diabetes... Yeah. He came to me and he said, Dr. Naram, whenever I am tapping in this way, so he was tapping here, mm -hmm. something, 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 his blood pressure would go down by 10%. But then I showed him one special murmur for diabetes. If you wish, I can show you. Yeah. Go this way. If, if anybody has got diabetes, I, know I had, diabetes runs in my family. My, my, my father had diabetes. My two uncles died with diabetes of complication of some medicines. They got into kidney problem, liver problem. They went into cutting the legs and so many things happened. And I thought I will never get. But one day I found my, I had a blood sugar which was 14.5 A1C. Now my blood sugar is 5.5. So what do I do to help myself? So haldi, you know haldi? Mm -hmm. Turmeric sure. powder, one teaspoon. Amla, gooseberry, right? Mm -hmm. Gooseberry, half teaspoon, kali jiri, one teaspoon, and methi, fenugreek powder, half mm -hmm. teaspoon. Mix everything together, put it into cow's ghee, and drink it. Mm -hmm. Now, cow's ghee, you should know how to prepare. Mm -hmm. That will ask Dr. Marianji how to make a real cow's ghee, which is very effective. Mm -hmm. And this is the marma. See, watch this. Go like this. One, two, three, Four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this will, when you press here, it presses on liver. It stimulates the liver. Mm. It also stimulates pancreas. When this doctor came to me, his blood sugar on the machine was 450. After only doing this murmur, after 15 minutes, it came down to 250. So this is the power of marma. So wow. you do it six times, six. and then and then over and over again as many over times and over as you again want. Over and over again is okay. Six, many times. Yeah. See, that's so simple. Very simple. And blood pressure, believe it or not. I I, I don't know anything about what you said, neuro linguistic or anything. I have heard about it, mm -hmm. but when those experts comes, we had one big expert. He was with Richard Richard Bandler. Yeah. Some somebody he says, and his blood pressure was two hundred and forty over hundred and fifteen. Let me share you this real example. Wait, Doctor, was this Doctor, actually Richard Bandler? No, it was not Richard A Bandler. Friend of him. Somebody is is one one of the teachers. Okay. Now, Doctor Marianji, who is next to me, her blood pressure was two hundred and twenty over one one eight. In, this is seven, eight years ago. 
you need to listen to the story and how we did the marma and believe it or not in 15 minutes after the marma with the help of ghee this whole marma the secret is this that her blood pressure from 200 220 over 118 went down to 120 over 74 would you like to share dr mary of course yes what happened well um dr naram and i were uh, traveling together we were going to tibet and to nepal actually uh checking out the scriptures that he's been uh, uh given to or or uh, uh trusted to by his uh by his uh uh, master by his guru so this trip was a very very difficult trip this trip was uh, a trip that we had to dodge many uh, um, challenges and uh, and it was very emotional very physically uh, challenging so I have always had very low blood pressure so I was never worried about having high blood pressure and uh, Dr. Naram kept asking me he calls me Mataji so he says Mataji do you have high blood pressure? And I kept telling him, no, sir, I have low blood pressure. And then uh, it's his nature that he doesn't, he doesn't um, assume or he doesn't force you to believe what he believes. So he would let it go. And then a few minutes later or a few hours later, uh, he would ask me again, Mataji, do you have high blood pressure? And I kept telling him, no, I have low blood pressure. So we moved uh, from Tibet. We came to Nepal. We had some challenges there. And we had to meet se uh, several different people. And uh, we ended up in, uh, in uh, Bombay. So that night, we were invited to his parents' uh, uh, home. And we were supposed to have dinner. And then I was supposed to go back to New York. And he asked me for the last time, he says, do you have high blood pressure? I finally just told him, I gave in. I said, why don't you check my blood pressure? You'll see that I really have low blood pressure. So he checked, and of course, I had 220 over 118. That's high, right? Which is extremely <laughs> high, which is like <laughs> normal is 120 over 80. So it was 220, almost twice as much. So... Um, it was definitely the right material for a stroke. So he tells me, um, uh, we need to do something because you won't be able to, uh, to go to New York ton tonight. I have a long history with uh, high blood pressure. I actually lost my mother to a stroke at age nine. Wow. And lost her not completely, but she was paralyzed for many years. She was completely paralyzed. And, uh, and we suffered through her disease. So I had this this uh, uh, emotional connection with, uh, with, that, uh, with uh, high blood pressure and stroke. So I panicked. And the first thing I said, I said, no, the machine is broken. And he expected that from me. So he had a second uh, uh, machine that <laughs> checked my blood pressure. He came with that. He always, has this, he always has like the second and third of everything. He just... Um, made in Germany. Yes, yes, made in Germany. So, he so you know it's high quality. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So, so he, he checks my blood pressure again, and it registers at 20, 220 over 118. Well, I basically hit the floor. I, I just didn't know how to, how to express my emotions. I was panicking, but I kept myself cool. But I knew that I wouldn't be able to travel. I knew that a travel that would... The travel time was 17 hours and nonstop, and I knew that that, that plane had to turn around and, and land somewhere else uh, because I would not make it to New York. So he told me, and I, of course, I knew about Marma. I knew about his power. It's, um, it's something I need to tell about Dr. Naram, and that is really uh, uh, an amazing, amazing feeling when you're in his presence. He's, um, of course, very funny, and he's very uh, lovable. But uh, aside from that, there is a depth of knowledge, depth of uh, um, wisdom that is not overwhelming, that, is not, that doesn't overpower you. It doesn't, it doesn't distance you from him. It actually brings you closer. It's like uh, a mother that you know your mother knows so much. And as a child, you still have that relationship that you can go to him, you can approach him. He's very approachable, very, um, very giving. 
And I know he's sitting here, and I should not be saying these things because uh, uh, then maybe later on we have to deal with the consequences of, <laughs> of him pouring more love towards us. We can cut bits out if we absolutely, have to. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. But he has heard it already. <laughs> so what's, uh, uh, what he did was he told me to relax and lie down, which I did, and this is really helpful by no means do we say that not go to your doctor, just, just adapt this as, as the only way to bring your uh, high blood pressure down. But basically, this is a method. This is an ancient method that has worked uh, for millenniums, and it will work over and over again. Um, even if you call 911, and by the time they get there, it is a technique that you can use to stabilize someone. So he got some ghee, and ghee is basically um, ever present in, in the home remedies that, that we suggest, that Dr. Naram suggests. So you can take as much as ghee that you can scoop up with two fingers and put it right on top of the head where the babies are born and there is a soft spot. That spot never completely closes. It closes to the touch and it closes to the eyes, but it, it's porous. So. Uh, anything can enter if they're of the same uh, of the of mm -hmm. the specific consistency. So, and also people with high blood pressure, they normally have the top of their skull, their, their head, uh, warmer uh, at a higher temperature. So this ghee, as you as you tap it on, it will melt and it would sink in. So the whole idea is the element of wind, the vata, needs to sink in and come down towards the abdomen and to have to exit, uh, exit, come out. So as soon as you do this, then you can take more ghee, what you can scoop up again with two fingers, and put it gently on the, on the temples. You will see that there is a pulse that pulsates. So you put this two fingers with ghee on the, on, on the temples of the person, and you go in circular motion six times. Marma is always done in six repetitions. Six is the number of the marma. That, that concludes one set. So you do six times in, in circle, and then you press and you bring it downwards. Again, you're, you're capturing the vata that is in the head, and you're guiding it downwards towards the abdomen and, and to, to release. Um, there is a point right underneath the nose, and you press six times underneath mm -hmm. the nose, you press uh, and, and right over the lip six times. And, and also what you will do is that after that, you take some ghee and you insert it in the navel, in the belly button. So by this, you have already, you're guiding this, this force of uh, vata. And this vata is, is now present in the abdominal cavity and so. If the person is suffering from much higher uh, blood pressure, then right underneath the, the feet, in the arches of the feet, again you put uh, some ghee and you go in, in circular motion and go six times, press at the end of the sixth uh, uh, movement and you bring it down towards the heels. So after he did this, uh, of course we had to do several times and uh, then my blood pressure came down to normal. Wow. How much? It came down to 120 over 74 or 76, mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure, but 80 being the, the optimal, I was even below that. Yeah, that's and fantastic. from last seven years? Well, I have, uh, of course this was not the, the end of it. I had to take some, uh, I had to take some uh, uh, formulas that, that was created. Uh, BP Mantra is a formula that I took for about three years and I had a uh, vibrant detox, which is to detoxify the body, again to remove the toxins from the body, the blockage. So this upon vayu, the, the vata, the, the element of wind that we were talking about, to have, have the right direction to exit the body. So uh, vibrant detox I took, and uh, I took the BP mantra, healthy heart circulation. That is another, another formula that I took only for three years, and after that, I am, I am completely off of it, and my blood pressure always is, is normal. Well, and also, I can share with all of you a home remedy for blood pressure. This is number one. Number two, how to relax. 
97% people on this planet now, maybe America, maybe Canada, maybe India, everywhere, they have got anxiety or stress or nervousness or mind jumping, ADD, ADHD. Now this murma also can help on those situations. But at the same time, I would like to share with you a mantra which anybody can do in their own home after a stressful day. Is okay? Yes, oh. please. So the way I do <clears throat> regularly, after seeing about, in India, if I see around 400 people, when I come home, I do this marma or this kind of meditation or this kind of process. And if I have been seeing around, yesterday I was in Toronto and I saw around 97 people. And then I did around 25 to 30 marmas. And then I came home. I was exhausted. Then how do I bring up my energy? Mm -hmm. So sit in a comfortable position, this way. Huh? And then it you, you, grounded. Uh, you ground yourself. <clears throat> and then here is a technique. So when you close your eyes, you take your eyeballs up with closing the eyes and you see here on the third eye. So when you see on the third eye and then you totally relax and this is the mantra and take a deep breath like this. And watch the breath. When you watch the breath and then you go and you let go. And this is the mantra you can speak with that. Om Namo Shanti Karaya Kuru Kuru Swaha. As soon as you say Swaha, you go relax. And whenever you want to come out, you just come out, open your eyes and you will feel very fresh and energetic. Now, Dr. Naram, I get the sense that uh, no matter how long we talk here today, yeah. you're going to have all these fabulous things to help people, right? Yeah. But, um, and you learned it from your master, right? That yeah. you... He was 115 when I saw him. Yeah. And he lived up to 125 only. And of course, people can come and see you people in, can in come Toronto. And see me. When you're in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Now I will be in Toronto in month of April, in May. So you'll be back be. in May. Back in May. Um, but I'm just wondering, are you also teaching people... Yes. These, these yeah, are teaching yeah, yeah. Uh, people to be <laughs> healers using yeah. this ancient technology that you've recovered. You will be very happy to hear in Germany, uh, German University has invited me to teach the best German doctors, Austrian doctors, Swiss doctors, and anybody from Canada also can join this course. And the name of the course is Ancient Healing Methods. It will continue for two years. And if they want, they can write to me on my uh, email and I can send them some information. Now, are you open to <laughs> maybe there's uh, somebody yeah. watching this now from Canada or the yeah. U.S. or somewhere else that would love to have you come and teach uh, people? Sure, sure. These we techniques can do that. There. Yeah, yeah. We are, I'm ready for that. Yeah. Okay. Sure, that's, sure. That's and also, how to handle emergencies. Now, believe it or not, now, currently, in in our world, modern system has come from 100, 150 years. But ancient Indian methods or ancient healing methods were handling emergencies. So we have a case of Dr. Giovanni. Dr. Giovanni is an MD medical doctor from Italy and he got a massive heart problem. So you can ask him how he handled his emergency <laughs> with simple home remedy and he can share that. Okay. Dr. Giovanni. Ah, Please yes, tell yes, us. yes. <laughs> so it has been a very interesting, deep, powerful experience for me because usually I'm behind the, the table. Yeah, and this time, for the uh, for first time, I had a very uh, intense, intense problem in the heart. Uh, I was traveling with Dr. Naram, a very big tour, mm -hmm. and then uh, I, we was in Italy together. And suddenly I felt very heavy in the chest, very heavy in the chest, very difficult to breathe, uh, starting to just feeling the life was leaving the body. Mm -hmm. And uh, numbness, numbness in the left hand, difficult to speak also. 
So it sounds like a heart attack. Uh, or it was yes, right? you can call yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Heart and attack then, and also something stroke. He, uh, he could and, not and, speak. Yeah, yeah, and stroke. Oh. No, because yes, the brain. <laughs> right. no, the brain has been okay. in some way uh, damaged. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, suffering was suffering. Yeah, and, luckily, and, and everybody yeah. told me, you cannot take a risk. Leave him. Just allow him call 911 of Italy and he should be in the hospital. <laughs> But <laughs> I asked him, <laughs> Dr. Giovanni, what do you want? He says, don't send me to the hospital. Please uh, treat see, me see, with see. your ancient healing methods. <laughs> Now, it was a big responsibility. Mm. Yeah, because, yes. So, what yeah, happened? Yeah. Ah, what happened is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I asked him, I was praying actually with the <laughs> last breath. <laughs> Please, don't, don't let me go to the hospital, no, because I... Yeah, I, I have complete trust, complete trust in Dr. Maram in this ancient secret. So, right. because I have seen that he has treated many situations. So, uh, anyway, he starting to put some, um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, tablet, tablet, some tablet in my mouth. Yeah. So he asked me to chew, and then some uh, garlic, garlic. So then uh, the um, I was feeling, no, this uh, the, the garlic intense, intense. Um, strength of the garlic then when it was going inside like just opening opening the, the vessels mm -hmm. ah yes yes now what about this okay because I heard Dr. Naram that uh, if in a heart attack situation like that mm -hmm. that um, uh, cayenne pepper instantly stops a heart attack almost in the same way because same it has principle. the same burning <laughs> yeah, same mm. principle yes <laughs> so something mm. warm so something three things warm. are very important I gave what I gave him Ajwain, you know ajwain? Mm -hmm. Celery seed, Wild, one teaspoon, garlic, one clove, and jaggery, half teaspoon. Jaggery. These are very powerful things. And also black salt, black salt, about one eighth teaspoon. But Now but this a lot of people don't have access to these things. Yeah, garlic, <laughs> but <laughs> celery. Yeah, some, but they're or readily or available. Black, yeah. salt uh, black salt okay, is Black salt is available. Okay, forget, forget, not available. I give you some another remedy. Black pepper you can get. Okay. Black pepper, about half teaspoon. Jaggery or raw sugar you can get, half teaspoon. And, and one marma. Marma is very good for heart. So you take your left hand. And after five fingers, here, this is the marma. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now this gives circulation towards heart. And one is known as Shankha Mudra. Take your right hand like this. Put a thumb. Then with this four fingers, you press this thumb. With this another four fingers, you press this thumb. And you go like this. One, two, three, Four, five, six. Ha. Ha. You are not doing correctly. Ha. Bring these ha. up. So Wait, this way. This? Uh -huh. Then go this way. Then this four fingers and the thumb. Like this. Uh -huh. And yeah. then bring your four fingers up. Yeah. And touch the thumb <laughs> of your right <laughs> hand. Yes. Yeah. Hand eye coordination. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I also gave him one heart mantra formula. <clears throat> And now Giovanni can share what happened. Ah, yes, and then yes. so uh, he went to hospital yeah, also. He went, uh, he yeah, he went to the hospital <laughs> because in the, all around of me the people were scared. So they, meanwhile they called the ambulance. And also right. blood pressure yeah. was high. Ah, blood pressure was high, was going up, was going down. Heart beat up and then down. Heart beat which mm. went up from 80 to 120 started dropping. And it dropped to 70, 65, 60, 55, 40... 35, mm -hmm. 30, mm -hmm. oh, 28, <laughs> like a coma. Mm. And I had to bring him up. So what oh. did we put under your feet, Giovanni? Also tell. Yeah, then, then, then know, my, body, my body also was become very cold. <laughs> mm. Very mm -hmm. cold. No, life energy was living. So they did massage, massage under mm -hmm. my feet with the powder of uh, ginger and the ajwain together. So mix and then continuously. Mm. So that um, the, the heat, the circulation could start again. So in meanwhile, while the, the ambulance came, I was already feeling better. 
No, and there was all doctors, no, n ready, ready with the electrocardiogram, ready with the injection, with powerful medication. So, and they were seeing that Dr. Naram was putting garlic in my my mouth. So they think they was thinking that was like a kind of uh, Hindu ritual that they do before before you go. <laughs> but then they didn't know that they, they, this was actually a real remedy that has saved my life. These so uh, methods are so wonderful that I think that if they write to Dr. Naram, we will provide them with, with some essential spices and what is readily available in most kitchens, maybe Indian kitchens, so they can have, they can have access to these things. You can make a little uh, kit for yourself, emergency mm -hmm. kit of different herbs mm -hmm. and spices. Mm. Okay, so does it work for all body types? Yeah. Now here... Uh, there are three body types, mm -hmm. vata type, pitta type, mm -hmm. kapha type is one thing. But in this situation, one has to understand. I will give you some more secret. Stomach, when, when you are getting into a heart attack or some kind of such serious situation, what happens? Stomach is bloated mm -hmm. with air, blocked. Mm -hmm. Then hands and feet are cold and head becomes hot, it's emergency. Now, what is a juine and ginger powder doing in the feet? It makes your feet become hot, mm -hmm. garlic in the mouth, mm -hmm. he started passing gas. So everybody says, he's passing gas. I said, it is better to pass gas rather than to pass your soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one ran away. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so suddenly he started we'll passing gas. That. <laughs> and immediately the stomach became milder, softer, Soft. mm -hmm. and he started to take breath. And he says, Dr. Ram, I feel good now. I feel good. I said, very good. Now you go to the hospital and come back. <laughs> if you, and the blood pressure went totally normal. Okay, so now I just want to ask this because, you know, when they, they say the, the heart, what causes a heart attack, right? Uh, it's a buildup of fat in the arteries and stuff like that? Is that and what it is? It blocks the blood? Yeah. Oh, Giovanni, ah, there are many reasons. <laughs> no? Many reasons. Could be a real block in the, in the circulation. Yeah. Could be a result also, um, how you say, a fatigue. Uh, could be a result of high blood pressure. Okay. So the heart become, cannot uh, pump enough, enough uh, blood against this blood pressure. Right. So there are different reasons. But, but this, this uh, home remedy is good for all, all this situation. Now, I just because they say too that in, with a heart attack, there's permanent damage caused to the heart uh, muscles. Uh, uh, right, right. And or and if it's a stroke, you know, you're, there's maybe some permanent brain damage there. Yeah, um, de uh, yeah. Uh, depends, depends how how fast you you can you can recover. You can you can give this uh, um, remedy because yeah. when I went to the hospital then. They checked my uh, my blood and they they checked the report to see if there, how massive was my my heart attack. But my all enzymes were fi was fine, all enzymes were fine. My blood pressure was fine, so they couldn't found any any physical. Uh, you say evidence. Uh, evidence, evidence, evidence of a heart attack. Evidence, yes, so it's yes. fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> now, um, now, Dr. Naram, we were uh, chatting a little bit before, and you said uh, you mentioned that uh, here we are in Canada, and that there might be some u uniquely Canadian problems that people in Canada yeah. are facing. <coughs> and, and yeah, you had some ideas sure, for sure. us. Canada now, at this moment, is going through many crises. It I is a health crisis. Believe it or not, one out of four or five are going to or going through a major crisis of cancer. Yeah. One out of four or five. Billions of dollars are spent in trying to manage. So there are some very simple home remedies, herbal remedies, which can prevent cancer at the same time help them to fight with the cancer. I am not suggesting that you do not go to your doctor or whatever. But there are some simple technology of changing even diet or lifestyle can help people. Mm -hmm. Second I see with youngsters. Now youngsters, because this country is windy country, mm. windy is too much. <laughs> That's what you Dryness <laughs> in the skin and then it brings dryness in the brain. So hard to focus, hard to concentrate, sometimes dizziness, 
hands and feet becoming cold and sometimes behaving crazy you want to say something you speak something you become angry mood swings and so many things happens so i have a very simple home remedy for that cows ghee 1 teaspoon <laughs> saffron 2 pinch saffron 2 pinch nutmeg 3 to 4 pinch mix it together and if anybody takes that they can focus they can concentrate and mind becomes less jumping or mind becomes calm so that's how people are losing calmness mm-hmm. yeah and they are going into anxiety that sounds another. a little healthier than uh, <laughs> ritalin yeah. or uh, some of these drugs that they're giving everybody right yeah 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 please <laughs> you can change mm. key quite a few times right it's yeah. all pretty much standard through every remedy yeah so what are the properties that uh, is so useful in the yeah very good if you ask ghee oh ghee who are you ghee says i am vata reducer pitta reducer kapha reducer i improve agni agni mm-hmm. means digestive fire mm-hmm. i also improve dhatva agni means metabolic fire mm-hmm. and at the same time i am chakshusya means i improve eyes eye glasses can be reduced by ghee Really? and i am wow. ayushya vardhan means i give you longevity i give you vitality i give you bal i give you strength the key is the secret is how to make ghee mm-hmm. so this is dr marian ji is a queen of ghee oh. you need to ask her how to make ghee <laughs> if you queen of ghee how do you make it <laughs> you got to be queen of something you better be queen of ghee <coughs> ah. um, <coughs> Actually I was under the impression that if you uh have been using ghee for most of your life or you have been uh you know making ghee you should know how to make ghee. Uh and I kept telling people that for this uh remedy for that remedy you need to use ghee. So people would come especially with uh with high cholesterol uh and we kept telling them high cholesterol could be remedied by by using ghee. and people kept saying that no i take ghee and my cholesterol keeps rising up keeps going up and uh, and finally it dawned on me that maybe we should find out if people really know how to make ghee so in the scriptures that dr naram has uh, uh, inherited um mm. the ghee the subject of ghee is a very huge subject is very respected subject and uh, the the description of making ghee uh actually is uh, is very simple but very important um i asked people how do you make ghee they said that so we take butter and then we put it on heat and it will foam up and uh and then we we just put it through the filter uh, strain it and that's ghee and i asked them how long does this process take so it never i never heard anyone mention any time longer than half an hour to an hour So that is not ghee. Basically that is melting your your butter and clarifying mm-hmm. it. Like they have it in mm-hmm. lobster houses mm-hmm. and what not. The actual ghee um takes much longer than that. And basically uh it takes almost 24 hours. But we have we can actually get good ghee if you take some uh, about 4 to 5 pounds of butter. of course organic unsalted butter and and uh, put it in a in a very heavy bottom pot it mm-hmm. has to be heavy bottom mm-hmm. so it distributes the heat evenly and also it doesn't come in direct contact mm-hmm. with with uh with heat so um like cast iron uh, i i like that i have cast iron at home myself they're very heavy but they're very useful for this purpose and the lowest heat possible almost if you have electrical uh stove it has to be on simmer and on gas as as low as you can get it so and allow it to just come to this gentle boil do not touch it do not stir it i know that oftentimes people get a little bit impatient or they think that if they stir something it's they're helping it just allow it to be after 8 to 9 hours you will see that uh basically the top would would clear and then you can take that butter uh boiled butter and pass it through the filter 
and uh, what you end up with is this beautiful, what we call this this magical golden uh, um, medicinal ghee that you can wow. use. Yes. So you can actually buy ghee at the store. You can buy right? ghee at the store, but I uh, really believe that since the process is so simple and it doesn't require a lot of hands-on, you just you just put the butter and then you leave it on for for as long as eight to nine hours, <coughs> and the only thing that is left is for you to just just filter this. I think this is uh, more to my liking because I know that the butter is uh, uh, organic. I know the quality of it, and I know what has gone into into pr preparation. Plus, you know, you give it love. That is, my grandmother used yeah. to always say, "Why your food tastes?" We used to ask him, "Why your food tastes so good?" She would always say, I give it a little bit of this and a little bit of this and a little bit of, you know, love. So it's a, a kiss and a, and a hug and a love, you know, goes into preparing which, which makes all, all the sense in the world when you think about Dr. Emoto and the absolutely, idea of putting intention absolutely. into water because butter is 100%. mostly water mm. probably anyway, right? I'll tell you something. <coughs> We have also, you know, all of our herbs are, are manufactured in where we, uh, uh, where Dr. Naram has direct supervision in our own factory. And during uh, preparation of these formulas, there is a lot of uh, chanting going on. Uh, there are lots of mantras that are spoken. So this is all infused with that, with that incredible uh, energy vibration that is so necessary with that intention that is so necessary to, to healing of any ailment. Yeah, Can sure. I ask the next question? Okay, so <coughs> could you go, uh, get into the scriptures that you're talking about a little bit? Like where do they originate? Is it Tibetan? Is it uh, yeah. Indo? Or yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> in India, ancient India, we had a very powerful, very deep, Nalanda University. So Nalanda University in ancient India was attacked by Mughals. And, and so where <coughs> was it? Like south yeah, or in, north? In, in Bihar. Bihar. In Bihar. In uh, north, right? North, north. North of India. So what happened at that time, the history says that they started burning the scriptures. Now, one of our gurus they said, whatever happens at your life cost, just save them. So many youngsters, they jumped. They were all burnt totally. But still, nobody stopped burning. So then, one great master was there. He said, take all the scriptures and take it to a place where nobody can attack. So then, that time, everything was destroyed. The history says the burning continued for couple of years, that kind of scriptures were there. Wow. So about more than two million pages were taken away and they were taken to Nepal and then to Tibet. Oh. Now they are lying in some monasteries, which I would not speak the name. And now one of my master's brother, who is 152 years young or old, only seven. Yeah. He told me to come. Come and take the scriptures. So he's 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 a protector of the scriptures mm -hmm. in Nepal and Tibet. So I have brought around half a million pages. More half a million pages are coming to me. Wow. It's in the process. So this is my big work. I will be investing about twenty million dollars to get them, translate them, and give it as it is to this world so that the world is a better place to live. So is and it I'm in Pali or Sanskrit? Huh? Ah, very good question. <clears throat> they are in Sanskrit, they are in Nepali, they are in Nerali, they are in Ardhamagdi, and also some in Tibetan language. And then you can uh, translate it or are you going to hire yeah. translators? Like what, ha, or I, do you I, know I, how to I read? I can't translate everything. Not possible. No. It's a big work. I will be very honest. So I have a great translators. The youngest one is 96 years old and the eldest one is about 130. 
<laughs> so how to handle them also is a big challenge. I just want to tell you a story. This is quite funny. <laughs> I uh, we have a place that these uh, these swamis uh, they gather so they talk to each other they discuss because the language uh, written is uh, from uh, uh, the time that we might have slangs or what what was uh, uh, what had a different name for a plant and the name has mm -hmm. changed or forgotten. So I was talking on the phone with Dr. Naram and he was there. So there is uh, screaming and yelling in the background. And I said, what happened? Uh, apparently, the elders, uh, they pushed this Swami, that was the youngest, the 96-year-old, um, basically out of the room. They said, you're, you're too young. You don't understand what's going on here. Get out. So as they pushed him, I think he, he, got, he got injured. He fell down or something. And they were all yelling and screaming. The, the temperament of these people is just so amazing. And uh, they are so adamant about what uh, 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 the, the value of, of, of these uh, uh, scriptures and the formulas that they get into this childish fight over the meaning of one word. So when Dr. Naram says it's a, it's a huge wor work, it really is because sometimes you think that they pour over one page and it takes them a week to even agree upon the actual meaning. So sometimes we have formulas that Dr. Naram has to make and over make like 20 times, 24 times uh, to get to the, to the actual meaning of, of that formula. And, and we keep uh, repeating it such yeah. as the Sonder cream or some other and some other creams that uh, we have or, or tablets. And it's amazing. So, uh, yeah. it is. This scriptures you can't believe. <clears throat> I don't have the whole list, but it talks about not only physical challenge, but mental challenge, mm -hmm. emotional challenge. If a person is jealous of someone, mm -hmm. what problems he can get or she can get. Mm -hmm. It talks about ego, it talks about fear, how many kinds of fear, fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of poverty, fear of old age, fear of loss of loved ones, fear of death. Now somebody gets into this fear is one thing. Then it becomes OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, washing hands or something or bringing some stuff in the house and putting it. Now how do we change these people? How do we transform them? It talks about such deep things you can't believe. Hatred, jealousy, anger, pride, mm -hmm. bitterness. Mm -hmm. Now all these things are in our human beings. Mm -hmm. How do we handle that? Mm -hmm. How do we face them? Mm -hmm. How do we change them? What are the most positive emotions? Emotions of love, emotions of sex, emotions of faith, joy, emo joy mm -hmm. laughter, companion how do we how do we shift our attention from negative emotion to positive emotions speaking is one thing but doing is another thing my master always said knowing is not doing but doing is doing mm -hmm. if knowing would have been doing nobody would have got married they would mm -hmm. have read a book on marriage mm -hmm. it is something like swimming you know mm -hmm. if i i want to learn how to swim i come to canada in toronto and uh, Maha, you tell me, you give me three books on swimming and then you throw me on the water. I will drown. So what do I need to swim? I need a trainer, coach or a guru. Then I need a swimming pool. So the scriptures are like a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. yes. And this, and then translation and then bringing them as it is to this world is a big, big work. And I have committed my whole life. I want to live up to 135. Why I'm so young? Why so young? Yeah, good, good question. <laughs> <laughs> when he gets there, then he will choose again. Then I choose somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing, another, another subject that was very important to me is, uh, and Dr. Naram always talks about that, is uh, the uh, subject of relationships. Um, mm -hmm. He always says that in this, uh, in this uh, time and age, we suffer from uh, relationships that they, are, they, are, uh, they never form. And when they form, they, they're broken mm -hmm. so fast. Uh, so in, this, uh, in these scriptures, there are chapters that they talk about not only relationships, uh, you know, the methods and the technology and, and, and how you can, you can 
forge a relationship that is lasting, but also the body type. Mm -hmm. How, which kind of body type would go with what, what type of uh, body, a mm -hmm. male or a female or partners, that how they, they come together. And sometimes you see people that they are together for years and you cannot fathom how they have stayed together and they have such a warm and incredible relationship. And now when you study these uh, forms and shapes and, and uh, um, even the coloring of a person, uh, that how, what is the optimal uh, wow. combination? Can you imagine how wonderful mm. that eye-opener that, that relationship is? Well, I'm glad you brought up relationships because, you know, our heart is also like a, one of the brains of the body, sure. as is mm. the intestinal system, right? Correct. So the heart actually has the capability to acknowledge and retain memory and learn from those memories. So, I mean, it's, it's got a consciousness of its own. It's got like, I don't know, 40,000 neurons or something like that, right, relative to the brain. So does it address like the specific brain, it, brains and hmm. how to actually yeah, use your entire brain. Sure, sure. In the scriptures, I was so surprised that whatever this modern psychology or uh, the whole thing is telling us, it talks about that. It talks about left brain, right brain, conscious mind, subconscious mind, super conscious mind, and when such situation happens, which point to press, which murmur to press, now, I have been helping more than 7,000 children who are having autism. Mm -hmm. And when the autistic child comes, the parents are saying they cannot connect, they cannot look, no communication. And also they are very hyper, anxious, nervous, depressed, mood swings, cannot learn. They are violent. Now, believe it or not, I just practiced some murmur and today, in last 36 years, I have seen many children have become normal. They got That's married. Awesome. They, have, they come with the girlfriend, <laughs> the children, <laughs> or boyfriend. And, the, and those children, this th 25 years ago, were told that they are going to be like this for a lifetime. Right. And what are the marma? I, I show you some simple marma. This is the marma I do with them. And they become calm. And the whole, it talks about Vidyut Shakti means electricity of the brain functions properly. Mm -hmm. When it is not functioning, they become hyper, they become angry, they become violent. Only by doing this simple marma, I believe it will change a life of an autistic child. So this way, go this way and then go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number one marma and number two marma. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on the right side, press this verb. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have been helping them with Manashakti, Buddhi Yoga, this marma, this marma. And suddenly within three to six months to nine months to one year, they start learning. That's they amazing. are good in the school. They communicate, they look into the eyes. So they talk about Vidyut Shakti. Vidyut means electricity. Now how did they know 2500 years ago? I don't know. But it works today in this world. Now, <coughs> that's fantastic. And I think the last time we were here we talked about, uh, we told about autism and, yeah. and treating the kids with autism. Now I just want to ask you, because these uh, scriptures sound like uh, it's a unbelievable news that yes. you've are you've gotten your hands on it and you're going to bring it to the world. Um, just like, how old are they? Uh, some are some are six hundred years old. Some are nine hundred years old. Some are fifteen hundred years old. I'm going to send you the pictures, yeah. and then you can show to our audience. Okay, so I'm going to send you in one day. That's fantastic. That's a that's. Amazing. Amazing. We should, and but you're not going to follow the IP addresses, no. top secret. Yeah. But we should, we should mention something uh, about these scriptures. Because oftentimes, you know, uh, when you have a piece of paper, uh, the, the time, 
will will just uh, uh, wither it and uh, mm -hmm. and the fire, the carrying, all the stuff that they have uh, they have gone through. Honestly, uh, when you when you touch them, uh, they're so powerful. It feels like they, they have a field of energy around them that protects them. Uh, some of these uh, scriptures that they were moved from, from Tibet and brought to Nepal, they were um, kept in a, in a, in a house. And, uh, and after the earthquake that was in Nepal, that house was coming down. It was the whole surrounding area. And I have pictures because um, Dr. Ram was there. I went there after the, after the earthquake. And I have pictures that I can share with you. Um, that all the houses around there, they were just completely uh, uh, broken and, uh, collapsed. and collapsed. Except and this house. Except this house. And this house was on its last leg. And it was just holding on and holding on for, for months. And uh, it was barricaded because no one could go in there. Mm -hmm. And the government had, uh, had closed it off. And uh, I, I cannot go into the, into the uh, details of this, uh, but somehow, we had to go in and bring them out and how they were brought out and how the, the building collapsed just afterwards. It feels mm -hmm. like a movie. It's so fictional, but it's really uh, the truth of it. I think it should be a movie. Mm -hmm. It should yeah. be a movie, like, yes. Like <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. well, that's fantastic. Now, okay, so we, we, we don't have much time left, and I know we're all hungry, right? Yes. I know. <laughs> Is there any? Let me go to. Now, where um, is there anything else you want to just leave people with today? I, I just want to tell them I love you all. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, and if you love these ancient scriptures, try some formulas, some home remedy, some herbal remedy, some marma, and I believe will change your life forever. If you want to live up to more than 100 years with vibrant health, unlimited energy, peace of mind and real spirit of enthusiasm. The scriptures, these ancient healing methods can change your life forever. Namaskar. Mm -hmm. All right. right on. Great. We love thank you, you too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. thank you. That's thank it you. Uh, for the show, Dr. Naram, yeah. Dr. Yeah. Mary Thank you, Anji, Maha. Thank, Dr. thank you, Giovanni. Thank, thank you, GH. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing you next time in Toronto. In month of May, please. Yeah, May. Okay, thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, you. Thank you.